Hello Power Pickers! Today I show you an alternate picking exercise of Greg Howe's Hot Rod Licks. It's very easy to speed up, so stay tuned for the lesson. Oh, by the way, I got my prototype! Look at that! The Squirrel! It's the Austrian Picking Power logo on a mug in gloss finish, red inside. How do you like that? Write down in the comment section below. The Greg Howe lick is based on 16th notes on the B and E string. It will improve your speed and your position shifting. It will help you to improve the speed because there are not too many string shifts. The only difficulty is the slide with the index finger. Let's look deeper into the basics. One repetition includes 16 notes which spread over three different shapes. The first shape is the E minor shape which begins on the B string on the 5th fret. Second shape is the F sharp Locrian shape. And the third shape is the G major shape. So the lick is based on the G major scale. Your first note is the highest note of the E minor shape, which is the C on the E string, 8th fret. You begin with a downstroke, then you play the B with an upstroke, and the A with a downstroke. And then comes the slide with the index to the 7th fret. It must be a slide where you don't hear all the notes between. That's your basic movement. When you got that, then you're safe. When you're done with the slide, you have your next four notes on the F-sharp Locrian shape, which starts with the middle finger, pinky, middle finger, index. That will be very good to train. After that follows the outside string shift to the B string. Your first note on the B string is the pinky on the 10th fret. You descend the F sharp Locrian shape. And the fourth note is again a slide up to the 8th fret, which is the first note of the G major scale. The last four notes are ascending notes on the G major scale, beginning at the A, B, then you have the inside string shift back to the E string 8th fret, and you finish the lick on the 10th fret on the E string. Here is the lick in full length. When you got the ascending version of the lick, you realize that your pinky will automatically move to the 12th fret on the E string, which is your next note, the first note of the descending lick. The first three notes of the descending lick are part of the G major scale, played backwards. You slide with your index finger back into the F-sharp Locrian scale. From there you finish playing four notes in the F-sharp Locrian scale. When you got that part, you need to make an outside string shift back to the B string again and you play the F-sharp Locrian scale backwards and slide into the E Aeolian shape. Here you finish the ascending notes inside string shift to the E string and the lick ends on the 7th fret on the E string.
you can loop this lick over and over. You don't need to turn around the lick after one repetition, you can repeat it over the next shapes as well. So you can play the lick three times in ascending and descending direction. Here are the three licks in descending direction. I recommend to stay inside these three shapes to get the basic feeling of the ascending and descending part of the lick. When you got the slides right and a good feeling for the lick, then expand it over the whole fretboard. In the end you can create your own licks by combining all the strings and positions. To speed up the lick take care of the essence. Take care of my channel as well by hitting the red button below and click the bell to not miss my next exercises.